Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the round build-in function. And what the round build-in function is going to do is allow us to round numbers. It also uh, helps us improve our floating point numbers. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple examples. Now, I don't want you to say, oh, I, all right, the round function is the savior to all my floating point number issues because to tell you the truth, the round building function also has its own issues. So we'll look at that first. All right. So we all know if you have 6.5 like this, it should round up to 7 if you're trying to get to the nearest integer, right? So let's go ahead and call round and do 6, oops, 6.5. All right. So we're trying to get the, the nearest integer. Hit, oops, return. And there we go. We got 6. So there's one of those weird issues you know, with floating point numbers, now the round the round uh, functions runs into the same issue. All right, so if we try to round up to the nearest integer or round to the nearest integer, um, we're getting the wrong number here. So you got to keep that in mind. Now the round function works great when we're working with like um, money or something. We need uh, two decimal points after or two numbers after our decimal point and we're we got like seven of them well if we're saying hey just chop it at two and round there yeah it's going to be pretty damn accurate all right but when we start calling uh one one number away from where we went around that's where we can run into our issue okay if you guys understand what i'm saying so I'll just show you that it does work properly we do round uh 7.5 and we got eight so that's how it should work all right um, let's take a look at another example. Uh, let's provide a, a second argument here. And this argument is how many uh, numbers do you want after the decimal point? So we're going to say round and we'll do uh, 5.43213 and then comma, we'll say two. All right. So we want two numbers after our decimal point. Hit return. We get 5.43. All right. And it doesn't round up because two, we don't round up on two. All right, um, let's take a look at another example. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and look at the examples we looked at in our tutorial on why floating point numbers are so inaccurate. Let's use the round building function to fix those, all right? So if you remember correctly, we had A is equal to uh, 0 0.1 plus 0, whoops, it's not plus, 0 0.2, all right? And we call that, and we got uh, 0.3 and then a bunch of zeros and a 4, all right? We all know that it's not correct. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a round and then we'll do a, oops, a and then one. Hey, we just want one, one number after the decimal point or yeah, that's what we want. So we're returning the three, right? Um, so you see now it's very, very accurate, right? Cause we got three. Um, how about another example? <clears throat> another one we did was 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 is equal equal to 0 0.3 right and we got return false well how about if we do it like this we do a is equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 and then we do round a comma 1 is equal equal to 0 0.3 whoops 3 hit return and now it's true right because we converted this this is 0 0.0 or 0 0.3000 0 0 0 0.3 and then we called um, the equal to operator on it and it returned true. So that's how we can use the round building function to better our um, floating point numbers. But you got to have some knowledge of why the floating point number is going to be inaccurate, when it's going to be inaccurate. So you get that through practice. And if you guys have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we're going to jump into decimals in the next tutorial, the decimal module, I should say, and I'll show you guys how we can use that to even better our chances of having accurate floating point numbers. See you in the next tutorial.